Your kidneys are amazing vital organs that perform many functions in your body, such as filtering waste products from your blood, balancing fluids, regulating blood pressure, and eliminating drugs. However, sometimes they can get damaged or overloaded with toxins due to various factors, such as dehydration, infections, diabetes, high blood pressure, kidney stones, or exposure to environmental pollutants. What you may not know here is that what you drink can significantly impact your kidney health, not just what you eat. Sun drinks you may be drinking every day could be straining your kidneys, damaging their blood vessels, and increasing the risk of kidney stones and other kidney diseases. So in this video, we will reveal the worst six drinks for your kidney health. So without further ado, let's get started. Number one, high sodium sports drinks. Do you love to chug down a bottle of your favorite sports drink after an intense workout or a game? You might think you're doing your body a favor by replenishing those lost electrolytes, but you could also be putting your kidneys at risk. Electrolytes are essential minerals that help balance your body's fluids and electrical signals. They include sodium, potassium, magnesium, and others. You lose some of these electrolytes when you sweat, and that's why sports drinks are designed to replace them quickly. But here's the catch. Many sports drinks also contain a lot of sodium. Sodium is important for regulating your blood pressure and fluid balance, but too much of it can cause problems, especially if you have kidney disease or are at risk of developing it. According to the National Kidney Foundation, high sodium intake can increase your blood pressure, which puts more strain on your kidneys. Over time, this can damage your kidney function and lead to chronic kidney disease. A study involving 12,126 participants in the general population without chronic kidney disease found that high salt intake could predict future kidney impairment. While it's natural for kidney function to slow with age, the study results suggest that a high salt diet can accelerate this decline. So how much sodium is too much? The American Heart Association recommends limiting your sodium intake to no more than 2,300 milligrams per day, and ideally to 1,500 milligrams per day. To put that in perspective, one teaspoon of salt contains about 2,300 milligrams of sodium. Now let's look at some popular sports drinks and see how much sodium they have per serving. Number one, Gatorade Thirst Quencher. 160 milligrams. Number two, Powerade, 150 milligrams. Number three, Gatorade Endurance Formula, 310 milligrams. As you can see, some sports drinks have more sodium than others. Gatorade Endurance Formula, for example, has more than 10% of your daily sodium limit in one serving. That's because it's designed for athletes who sweat a lot and need more sodium to prevent hyponatremia, which is a condition where your blood sodium level becomes too low. But if you're not an endurance athlete or exercising in extreme conditions, you probably don't need that much sodium. In fact, drinking too much of these high-sodium sports drinks could actually dehydrate you more by making you thirsty and retaining water in your body, which strains your kidneys and puts extra load on them. So what should you drink instead? Well, it depends on how long and how hard you exercise. If you're working out for an hour or less with moderate intensity under normal weather conditions, water is typically all you need to rehydrate. If you're exercising for longer than an hour or at a high intensity or in hot and humid weather, you might benefit from a sports drink that has some electrolytes and carbohydrates to replenish your energy and prevent cramps. Number two, soda. Do you know what your favorite fizzy drink is doing to your kidneys? You might want to think twice before reaching for that can of cola. One of the main reasons why soda is bad for your kidneys is because of phosphoric acid. Phosphoric acid is a colorless, odorless, and corrosive liquid that gives soda its tangy flavor and prevents mold and bacteria growth. Phosphoric acid is made from the mineral phosphorus, which is naturally found in the body and works with calcium to support bone health, kidney function, and energy metabolism. However, too much phosphorus in the body can be very harmful, 
especially for people with kidney disease. High amounts of phosphoric acid can lead to kidney damage and eventually kidney failure. A study was conducted to examine the connection between carbonated beverages, including cola, and chronic kidney disease. They found that drinking two or more colas each day was linked to a significantly higher risk of chronic kidney disease compared to non-cola carbonated drinks. Another reason why soda is bad for your kidneys is because of high fructose corn syrup. High fructose corn syrup is a type of sugar that is widely used in sodas and other processed foods. This corn syrup can raise your blood sugar levels and cause insulin resistance, which can lead to type 2 diabetes and diabetic kidney disease. According to a study published in 2010, the high amount of corn syrup in soda was found to be the reason behind elevated uric acid levels. These elevated levels of this acid push your kidneys to work much harder. Before we continue, if you have been enjoying the video so far, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss more videos like this. Number three, diet soda. You may think that diet sodas are better, but that is not the case. Diet sodas contain artificial sweeteners such as aspartame, sucralose, and saccharin, which have many negative effects on your health. Aspartame especially is broken down into several chemicals in the body, some of which may have toxic effects on the kidneys. According to an 11-year study by scientists at the Brigham and Women's Hospital in Boston, found that women who drank more than two servings of diet soda per day had a 30% greater reduction in kidney function compared with women who did not drink diet soda. Another study by researchers at Loyola University Chicago found that people who drank more than seven glasses of diet soft drinks per week had an 83% higher risk of end-stage renal disease compared with those who drank less than one glass per week. These studies suggest that drinking diet soda may not be worth the risk for your kidneys. So what can you do to protect your kidneys from soda damage? Well, the best thing you can do is to limit or avoid soda altogether and drink water or other healthier beverages instead. Water is essential for keeping your kidneys healthy and hydrated, and it can also help prevent kidney stones and infections. If you find it hard to quit soda cold turkey, you can try some healthier alternatives, such as sparkling water, unsweetened herbal teas, coffee, or smoothies. You can watch our video on the best drinks for your kidneys if you want to learn more about them. Number 4. Energy Drinks Energy drinks are very popular among young people, athletes, and busy professionals who need a quick pick-me-up. But are they really good for your kidneys? Well, it turns out that energy drinks can have some serious negative effects on your kidneys and overall health. And one of the main reasons is an amino acid called taurine. Taurine is an amino acid that is naturally produced by our bodies and found in foods like meat, seafood, and dairy. It helps regulate hydration, digestion, nerve growth, and mineral balance. However, according to several studies, when taurine is consumed in excess, it can harm your kidneys by interfering with their ability to filter waste products from your blood. Taurine is normally excreted by your kidneys in small amounts, but when you consume too much of it, it can accumulate in your blood and cause toxicity. This can lead to symptoms like nausea, vomiting, headache, dizziness, and even seizures. Another way that energy drinks can harm your kidneys is by increasing the risk of kidney stones. Kidney stones are hard deposits of minerals and salts that form in your urinary tract. One of the main factors that contribute to kidney stone formation is high urine calcium. The more calcium you have in your urine, the more likely you are to form stones. So, what does this have to do with energy drinks? Well, energy drinks have a lot of sodium, which makes your kidneys excrete more calcium into your urine. And the more calcium you have in your urine, the more likely you are to form stones. So how much is too much to drink? Well, some experts recommend not exceeding 1 16 ounces drink per day. And if you already have kidney disease, consult your doctor first. Number five, fruit juices. First of all, let me clarify that we're not talking about all juices. Some juices are actually good for the kidneys, such as cranberry juice, 
which can help prevent urinary tract infections and kidney stones. We're also not talking about moderate consumption of juice, which is usually fine for most people. I am talking about excessive or extreme juicing. The reason why juicing can harm the kidneys is the high sugar content of many juices. Even 100% fruit juice has a lot of natural sugar in it, which can raise blood glucose levels and increase the risk of diabetes. Diabetes is one of the leading causes of chronic kidney disease, which affects about 15% of U.S. adults. Several studies have found that people who drank sugar-sweetened drinks had significantly higher rates of chronic kidney disease than those who rarely drank sugary beverages. So, if you do drink juice, limit your portion to 4 fluid ounces or half a cup per day, and avoid juices that are high in oxalates and sugar, such as orange juice, avocado juice, beet juice, or tomato juice. Number 6. Alcohol Alcohol is one of the worst drinks for your overall health, not just your kidneys. Alcohol puts extra stress on your kidneys and makes them less able to filter your blood. It also dehydrates your body, which affects the normal function of cells and organs, including the kidneys. When your kidneys are dehydrated, they can't keep the right amount of water in your body, and they have to work harder to get rid of the alcohol. One of the most serious effects of alcohol on the kidneys is acute kidney injury. This is when your kidneys suddenly stop working because of too much alcohol in your blood. This can happen when you binge drink, which means having five or more drinks in a short period of time. Acute kidney injury can be life-threatening and may require dialysis to remove the toxins from your blood. Another way alcohol can harm your kidneys is by increasing the risk of high blood pressure and diabetes. These are the two most common causes of chronic kidney disease in the U.S. High blood pressure damages the blood vessels in your kidneys and reduces their ability to filter blood. Diabetes affects the blood sugar levels in your body and can damage the nerves and blood vessels in your kidneys. So how much alcohol is too much? Well, in general, experts recommend that women should have no more than one drink per day and men should have no more than two drinks per day. Of course, some people should not drink at all, such as pregnant women, people with liver or kidney disease, people who take medications that interact with alcohol or people who have a history of alcohol abuse or addiction. So, these were the worst six drinks for your kidneys. At the end, remember that moderation is key. You can still enjoy these drinks, but in moderation. But if you already have kidney disease or not sure if it is safe to drink any of them, talk with your doctor or dietitian. Now, we want to hear from you. Do you drink some of these drinks regularly? Did you know they were harmful to your kidneys before watching the video? Share with us your experiences and opinions in the comments below. We love to hear them. Thanks for watching.